giant chub every time I see a vent that's just waiting to be crawled up inside. <laughs> I get a heart If you crawl vents in vent. a patriarchal society, consensually you are a rapist. There is no consensual vent rape in a patriarchal society. Consensual is vent that, rape. I need to read that thread now because it's got to oh, turn yeah, into a shitstorm by now. The, uh, matriarchal the, the, matriar the patriarchal society of Cleopatra is pretty fucking good completed. though. Apparently, according to goons in D&D, girls are too dumb to have consensual sex with anyone because they're all told that they have wait, to have sex you, with what people. Wait, do you mean? Do you mean the Egyptology thread? Because that's yes. what... Yes, that one. Because there is no matriarchal society thread, it's just the Egyptology thread now. The superior Egyptology thread. Somebody should post, like, I am so glad that this thread came out because I never learned so much about Egypt as I have in this thread. <laughs> what was that? Get man! Uh! Uh! So, if you go for the never set off an alarm achievement, if someone's just in hostile mode, you still qualify for the achievement. It's only if they're in alarmed mode that you lose it. No, the moment they go hostile, you're fucked. Uh, or Are you talking about alarm. ghost? Ghost. That's easy to get. Will die. Yeah, ghost is easy to start. You just so don't have to trigger any hostile. alarm. Wait, is there a different one for them just not going hostile? No, there's actually specific alarms that you can try. Yeah, the alarm if you just kill all out. of them before they notice, then you're good. You can get ghost that way too. Yeah. So if they go hostile and I down them before they can hit the alarm, I'm still okay. Should be. Cool beans. Not for the achievement like that. The foxes and the hounds though. The moment that goes red in the foxes, you're fucked. Fucking goddamn useless. I spawned in that fuck. I I cut down like six or seven people, cleared out all the mines, and they did not. I instantly got blown up by uh something. Yeah, it was the seven or eight fucking AT soldiers pounding my tank to scrap. They have got that AT shit. They definitely had that AT shit. I'm hiding in some dude's closet right now. We're trapped in the closet. Why are you in that dude's closet? Tom Shrek the corn, are you gonna come out of the closet? Maybe I can find something suspicious in this dude's apartment. Pro tip, it's the clock. And also the baseball bat. You mean the phone? The clock. The there's clock. a clock. After you answer the phone, there's the clock. Alright. I actually I'm, found I'm, the I'm, clock I'm first. Sitting, I'm sitting on top. Of the phone as it rigged. The fact you can't blow up mines up on the ground is really dumb and gay. Oh, hey, I found tongs. Oh, and I just watched the clock magically light up. Did he beat the shit out of her with the clock? Fuck yeah. Oh, Basic yeah, engineer combat! I mean, the, the fighting out the details and the street justice on that mid side quest is fantastic. Street justice is great. This is fucking team. Our team was doing really well. I wonder what fucking happened. What kind of crappy clock breaks and shows the time when he uses a murder weapon? What kind of crappy clock breaks when you crack a bitch it? upside the head with it? Exactly, that's my point. I actually, I actually got the impression that, I he, all... didn't, that he wasn't actually guilty. You know why? 
because I saved, went back to the save, and tried doing choosing all the choosing a bunch of wrong conversation options, and he still confessed. I'm thinking that his father killed her. He he didn't he didn't give any specifics about the crime, right? Yeah, he did. if you do it the correct way, he does. No, Maybe I it's just it a quest way. that I you're chose... not allowed to fail, no matter how dumb you are. Not far enough. No, I chose all the correct answers the first time through, and all he says was, "She was a bitch. Everything you just said is right. Yeah, I killed her for it." Oh my! He said they knocked the bitch in the face and kept hitting her because she wouldn't shut the fuck up because she's a bitch. That's what I got. Yeah, that's what I just said because you already accused him of bludgeoning her to death with the clock. Tom. So what you're saying is he's covering for his dad who beat her to death with the clock. I'm sure I'd remember the man who got most or his dad tried to frame him. I doubt it was his dad though because, because the blood spatter on him was on him, not his dad. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's on the uh, The guy was covered in blood. Yeah, yeah, now I remember. Now his dad covered it up for his son. Right, I Through limb donations. I take Wrong it, I take it all back. Now I remember the autopsy See, the man I got this from System when. lockout, that's bullshit. Bell Tower gave us his corpse a few weeks ago. Bell Tower. I had like 30 new viruses by the time I finished the game. Oh my god. The I had I had 55 new viruses at the end of the game. <laughs> Shevchenko had four yeah, something, with something like 49 where the, uh, viruses. Where the fuck do you find those? Stirred. No, once you, you can Q. hack them. Once you go five capture and then three hacking still, it doesn't trivialize the hacking in the game, but it does make it easy. I put one in the identification. I didn't see the necessity of the last I think they gassed the thread because I can't find it. Gift horse in the mouth or anything. Wait, no, here it is. Never mind. If you go three out of three hacking still, nodes that are numbered one through three only have a 15% chance of detection. I think the worst part is when you're like, oh man, I got 15% chance and it triggers right there. You're like, really? Fucking really? And you have like seven seconds to get through the whole fucking thing? Well, that's why you use the stop virus. You mean you don't stockpile new viruses and hack the uh, enemy node? You have, you have shitloads of extra stop and nuke viruses if you're playing it right. And so you can just use stop virus if it I've accidentally used like a dozen I stop viruses. Like I didn't mean to just hacking. happen. What, sir, uh, what team are you on, Bolo? Yeah, the EU. Um, there's, there's some like little niggling UI bug where sometimes it will just refuse I'm in the to chink select. Spot again. If you click on the node, it will just keep repeatedly clicking stop, <clears throat> clicking the stop virus instead of capture. Yeah, that's what I had. What the fuck happened? And I once had to reload because I, I was under pressure and I just kept spamming the stop virus and ran out of them. So I just reloaded the save at that point because I wasn't going to go through the next section with no stop viruses. And by the time I got towards like the later half, I didn't even need them, really. Yeah. Once you have three out of three stealth, you... Uh, well, I think I only got, because I maxed out the uh, identification stupidly, so I only had two in stealth. Whatever. I did just fine. It's still pretty easy because most of the nodes are one or two. Yeah. What was I ever had a problem with were they, uh, the level five ones that were like three I nodes? Like yeah, the moment I... you triggered it, you had to hit a stop virus or you were fucked? Yeah, I, I just, um, I blew like new viruses on level fives. And I still had 55 nukes left over at the end of the game. Okay. Did you guys buy the, uh, the X-ray vision AUG? Yep, it's super cool. Much more useful than the radar.
So I'll get x-ray vision and upgrade my hacking stealth. Gotcha. Okay, I've still got a couple side quests to finish in Angshaw a second time. I need to get the Icarus landing system, I've decided. Oh, it's uh, pretty do. handy. It It's actually really handy for a stealth run at the end. Uh, yeah, dropping three stories and knocking out like five people. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a bit where there is the only way to do the stealth run is to drop down a ventilation shaft and knock out three people at the bottom. Are you talking about Tai Young? No. Oh, I got dodged. I shot that jet, darn all. I am the man. Now there's uh there's only one spot in the game where you needed the uh where you needed to knock out people with the Icarus for a stealth run. Uh there were there were, I think, two other spots in the game where you still needed it for the stealth run, but you didn't actually need to knock out people at the bottom. I had a real, um... I am such an I don't even know where to aim with this fucking sniper rifle. <laughs> I, I had a real I am such an idiot what moment. What is fucking pinging me? It's annoying as fuck. Yeah, God damn. At one point in the game, when I was replaying it, and there was an elevator, and I remember that part of the game being really, really frustrating for a stealth run. I felt like it was almost impossible. But then in my second playthrough, I noticed that there was an empty elevator shaft directly to the right of the elevator, and if you had Icarus, you could just run into it instead of going down the elevator, and it would take you into a secret, a secret path through. <laughs> but yeah, my, there was... my first run, is... I was an idiot and didn't even notice that big old empty space next to the elevator. Like, I... Didn't get Icarus till late, late in the game. I can't regret it. Back off. Yeah, that was the best thing about being able to replay the game is I was able to um, grab things that were in retrospect uh, very handy, like heavy lifting Icarus being able to punch. I didn't get heavy lifting till Pantra. Like no shit. You yeah, heavy Icarus. lifting. That was like one of the first things I got was heavy lifting. Heavy lifting owns, and you don't appreciate how much it owns until you get it. The Icarus I mean, system is fantastic. My first playthrough, I've Hang already shot. puffed a dumpster through some ice face. What? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Hang Shot. It's amazing. I'm just glad it doesn't automatically stun people at the bottom of the fall, or I hey, hey, I know you. Kinds of problems. You're the one Bell Tower is looking for. Hey, is uh, Metro 2033 23 worth the five bucks for the daily? Yes, yes what absolutely. Do you think so, be a simple thing for me to yell out. It is Maybe a fantastic really game with some problem. Huh? The very last mission is shit. Forewarning. Well, not How the very last, but the reactive shit. But it's but a very good game. That, that it's worth five dollars. I see now that you're much. Anyone else? The man they're looking for. I thought you might I don't know, it doesn't look spectacular way. to me. I've, I've never played it. it, so I hate it. It's crap. Okay, well, I have you ever on. you played Stalker before, right? I have. It's similar like it's made by some of the original dudes from when they started Stalker up. Oh, okay. Stalker was good. It had lots of problems, but there was it's a the same core thing game there that was good. The same thing with this game. It's a the... more, it's a lot more linear. So five bucks for movie ticket. I it's worth it. Yeah, well five bucks cheaper than go to the movies. Isn't that nice? Steam sales lower games I to mean... the point where they're cheaper than going to see a movie that might be shit at the theater. Uh, wait, what game yep. is five bucks you're talking about? Metro, Metro twenty thirty three. Oh, yeah, it's, it's... It's on Steam, five bucks. As long as you don't expect it oh, to hey. be like stock. They actually use stock. clips in this game. And not, uh, oh. Oh, God. Okay, I mean, well, magazine based ammo system. Uh, I don't expect it to be stalker, I just want it to be worth five bucks. It's worth. It's worth five bucks. Like, it's. 
I really think that's your star. It's probably 